Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Joseph. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I am. I'm sticky. And we're playing Madden 20, and we're going against our arch nemesis, Jonas. Dun, dun. The nemesis. Is. Pittsburgh Steelers. Burn it down. Burn the entire city. <laughs> Burn. Burn Pittsburgh. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Get him. No, nah, dude, Pittsburgh's okay sometimes. Wasn't, wasn't uh, Roethlisberger, he was just in the news recently for what, Jonas? Was he? Hello, yeah, he it's was. I just don't remember what it was for. I think he, I don't know. Okay. He yep. almost died a long time ago. No. And then he got accused <laughs> of... Uh, it's me saying recently versus his, <laughs> his motorcycle accident from like 10 years ago. <laughs> okay, I was more like, it was more like 15 years ago. Yeah. Alright, fair enough. He took Cornell's job. Is that what you're gonna say? Yeah, next? he took Cornell's job. He had a sexual assault case. Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, really bringing that back up, huh? Um, yeah. It's like, <laughs> I got. I'm sorry. I need to speak differently about Ben Roethlisberger. Yeah, put him do. in a better light. You do. Um, Josh. I think it was that. Um, Antonio Brown said that he like respected him or like something. I don't know, dude. I don't I, like when they talk about the Steelers at all. I really don't listen. Yeah, but I thought you paid attention to football. No, not very much anymore, man. I'm on my way out. You quit. You're quitting football. Yeah, I didn't even watch a lot of it last year. For I noticed part. that you didn't watch a lot of it. Yeah, man. I just I don't know. I like it. It's fun. I like. I think I'm. I th think it's slowly becoming a sport that like is turning into all other sports for me. That like I love watching it with other people. But if I'm sitting here watching it by myself, I'd rather do something else. Really? I think so, dude. <laughs> you man, you were like going to bars and stuff. Yeah, like when I first uh, got here, I was going to the Browns Backers Bar, I was going to the Patriots Bar, and th and I would be more apt to do that still because it's like a crowd element. But not if I don't know anybody there. Like I'm not just gonna go sit with other Browns fans when I don't know someone who's there to talk to. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's just I think it's like I think I got real involved in it for like 10, 15 years when I was doing fantasy football real hardcore. Yeah. And it, and then like it just kind of burnt me out. A little that's bit. that's kind of what happened with me and and uh, basketball. To really yeah. for basketball is like I stopped watching TV or no I moved away when I moved away from Cleveland is where it really happened because then I couldn't follow my Cavs as hard right right yeah they only had so many lot, uh, national games yeah because when I lived in Cleveland I had cable and I had the NBA package and I would watch every game that ever came on and then I moved to Pennsylvania yeah and I never and I didn't get cable they don't have there. any basketball near did, there yeah I don't have basketball there at all and I just didn't like buy the package i know and i always and i always feel like philadelphia isn't part of pennsylvania because it's like way over there on the other side oh, yeah, they have far. the 76ers or whatever but i yeah, still don't count PA as having a team yeah. really yeah so i just had like antenna tv sort of like yeah what we and maybe that's part of it too but like i even got the ticket this year again i mean but i did get it on a discount so that was fine it wasn't like i don't know man i just i like watching football I'll put it on if i'm home but i really don't watch anything anymore yeah. Other than like, I'll put the office on while I'm doing other stuff, like just so something's on for noise, so I'm not in complete silence. Yeah, and that's what it is, man. And I, like you, you say that you listen to music all day. I need, I need those voices. I need something. Yeah. I need the voices myself. Yeah. Well, some days I don't listen to and do anything. I just sit in silence. But other days I listen to music. I don't know, man. It's. I'm just the older I get, the less I like want to just sit and dedicate my time to staring at a TV uh, screen. It's like I have to. I'm usually doing something else. Like yeah, fair, yeah. fair, fair. But I'll also be the guy who's like, I'm playing a video game, and I'll have like a movie or a football game or something on another. Oh TV. yeah, hundred percent. Like I'm like, why do I need double stimulation? But I do. <laughs> it's either feast or famine, Joe. It's yeah, right. I'm like either watch nothing or I'm watching two things and I got something going on my laptop and like yeah, phone. Yeah, all of it. I'm just like surrounded by media, <laughs> make up for lost time. I love it, man. I do. Um, I definitely have stopped listening to music as much as I as I used to. Well, it it makes if, me if sad. The music though. came out. I mean, there's been a ton of new music that's come out that I should have listened to, but I haven't listened to any of it. None yeah, of it. I uh, I ebb and flow, man. I know, but I feel sure. like I don't know, man. I used to like go to all the movies. I used to listen to all the CDs. I used to have like social commentary. Did you? Yeah. I used to like 
I used to value those. <laughs> you get you get online, you start talking about the new uh, Drake CD with folks. I have never been a commenter. I've never been that guy. Yeah. I'm not the guy that's gonna comment in the bottom of your YouTube videos. I mean, I mean everyone. How many YouTube videos, Jonas, do you think you've commented Me? on I in your life? But I don't watch tons of YouTube anyway. All right, on any medium that you choose. Uh, uh, other I, than Reddit and Facebook. Other than Reddit, well, and I barely do that. I barely even do Reddit. Even Reddit counts. I, I comment a lot on Reddit. Do you? Well, my I have, I have like I have more than one account. One account, one, one account is my like. You're, you got a burner, a throwaway. I account? got, a, I got an account that is all my comments and like all that stuff. And like, and then another one I just like look at stuff on. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah. You guys, you lead two lives out here, man. <laughs> no. Yes. I'm. I'm. I'm uh, so one account is just, just like. You just scroll down and it's just the N word over and over and <laughs> yes, over again. I'm just a hate. I'm just a hate. <laughs> and then the other I have account. a hate monger account, and then my like, let's be a normal person account. I'm not mad at that, Jones. That's a good. That's a good game. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that's the way you live your life. Yeah. We discovered it here today. Yeah, dude. I'm on right. episode thirty two thousand fifty two of the. <laughs> Yeah. No, man, I don't uh, I like commenting, but I like commenting on like ask Reddit posts and stuff cuz they're fun. And okay. like in like pop, I, I comment people comment. But I don't know. Sometimes I get in a groove and I and I talk. No, no, no. I'm, I'm there's nothing wrong with. It. I'm not shaking. But other than that, it. dude, but I go like months yourself. at a time without doing anything. I don't get in a thing where I'm like, "Oh, I'm going to look at ask Reddit today." And I'll like just be on it like, throughout right. the day screwing around. But you if you if you're commenting, you're not necessarily like just like I don't know. Throwing your two cents in on like somebody like you see some lady like punch a guy and you're like, I smack her back. No, I uh, usually make a joke. Okay. Usually like it's like an ask Reddit and I come up with like a witty like uh, a little one liner. Yeah, dude. I like I just like want to get my uh, work my uh, comedic memory. You know. Jonas is a one liner factory man. Yeah, He's dude. Dropping dropping one lines like I'm a clothesline. Come coming off the assembly line, Jonas is yeah, dude. probably one line said. clothesline assembly line. There you go. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, dude. I'm good. No, I'm I'm not I'm not commenting on your YouTube videos. Uh, on Reddit occasionally, but no, not even there so much. I've said some things on Reddit. I've gotten some likes, though. I had one comment hit, like, 10,000 internet points. Oh, yeah? Look yeah. Yeah. I was like, whoa, look at that. It did nothing for me. The, it history, the, history, the trick's getting there early. That is true. The trick is getting there. You got to sort by new. Yeah. <laughs> but even with that, that comment that got, like, 10,000 internet points, the next day I was like, I don't care. It did nothing. It didn't incentivize. It didn't, like, get me motivated. I was like, Pfft. I don't want your internet. But it did nothing. It didn't yeah, change dude, my life. Some people, like, thrive on trying to do that. And I'm like, look, man, nobody called me. I got a 10,000-point upvote message on Reddit, and no nothing happened. Nobody called me. They're like, TZ Donovan, you've made it. Welcome to the club. And right? They, like, give you, like, a, a bonus check. The ish got gold and silver. I'm like, heck, yeah, I got gold and silver. Nothing happened in my life different. I went to work. That's what happened. Right. That's what happened. I went to work. And you went and told people at work yesterday, I got a 10K Reddit karma. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, what is that? And they're like, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> so, anyway. Welcome. So, anyway, so get on the phone. <laughs> Need you to make a call. <laughs> You're like, but I had 10K karma. Right? You're oh. like, yeah, great. Yeah, it's yeah. So yeah, dude, it, it does nothing. Yeah, I appreciate people commenting on our stuff, though. Like, even if oh, they're just yeah. like, hey, great video. I'm like, that's awesome. That you, they felt compelled enough to, like, say that. Okay, you know what? See, and if I had known that, like, if it were on a more personal level, like, the people who comment on our videos, I'm letting you know right now is that Jonas is on top of answering every single one. I do my best, but... I hate commenting. Um, if you address me myself, then I will comment. Because yeah, Jonas will be like, hey, like, somebody uh, said something about you in the comments. And I'll be like, all right, cool. Let's yeah, get it. I just try to at least like recognize that they took the time to comment. Because like, a lot of people don't do that. That's very true. You know? So, I hey, want, man, thanks for commenting. I know so, we 100% appreciate it. Absolutely. We appreciate it. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah, and I get a notification, so like it helps. Yeah. Like you know, it's like it's not like I'm like I jump on there to check 97 times a day. Like it, it just gives me pretty 
pretty sure that you just like standing there watching and waiting for the number to tick. I up. just keep swiping down to reload the refresher <laughs> page <laughs> all day long, the just, entire day. Just click and refresh on your laptop. Just over and over. Oh. I actually set it to auto refresh every eight seconds, <laughs> just so I can sit there and be like, "Did change? Did change?" You like, you like, wake up in the middle of the night. <gasps> <laughs> I grab, I grab the phone and check before no. I go before I go pee. Yeah, like, you're like, if I gotta pee. I check my subs- subscribers. Then I go. You're pee. like, wait, did anybody comment? No. Okay. All right. I thought somebody might have. <laughs> I thought Ooh. somebody might have. Woo. I thought there might have been a comment. <laughs> it's like back in the day when you're like, did they did they call? Thought they were supposed to call. They didn't call me yet. Who like, like girls? High, yeah. Like, oh when Jesus. You're, when you're in high school and you're like, <laughs> I had to run out to, I had to run outside to the mailbox. Oh, did Sheila call? Oh God. <laughs> no, you just check the answering machine. Yeah, right. Jesus, what, man. What if she didn't leave a message? What if it didn't in that register on the caller ID? So, wait, Jonas. All right, so look, check it. So the phone has died, obviously, the house phone. Yes. Answering machine's dead. Is voicemail dead yet? I think voicemail plays a very important part in our lives now. Even more important than it uh, used to because God dang it, Jonas. because nobody answers numbers they don't know because of the spam. So voicemail serves the purpose of like if you call me and I don't have your number and I need to call you back, you leave me a message. I check it and call you back. Other than that, I don't I don't answer calls that I don't have on my phone unless but, I. But texting. Right, but like a business or something isn't going to text you. You don't want to talk to. Him. When's the last time I've you had a doctor to call back to confirm my appointment and stuff and like. Well, it's just- I'm not texting you. My doctor texts me. You don't go to the doctor. That's besides the point. If I had one. If I had a doctor, I'd make sure he texted and me. And that's not even 100% that's true. My, I, that's my prerequisite. If you don't text me, I'm not coming. All right. So knowing that I work in the medical industry kind of kind of F's this up a little bit. But the last few times that I've been to the doctor, and that's been within the last like year I've been to the doctor, I texted him. And he texted me back. He was like, yeah, come on up. Yeah, but those people don't have that kind of relationship with a doctor, bro. I mean, maybe like, they need I'm to get not through. just like texting them, like, "Hey, homie, I got this cold. Can I come in?" Yes, yeah, step on through. <laughs> like, come on, that ain't how it works. That's my dude. <laughs> I'm sorry that you don't know doctors like me. <laughs> wow. If anything, you're, you're you guys as doctors who you're paying for should be more friendly than the I doctor. I agree. They work for you. Yeah, listen, I'm telling you right now, yeah, at home. If we didn't bring our sickness to them, they would have nothing. Exactly. Um, What's a doctor with no patience? Can, can I take your order? Would you like fries with that? That's what he is. No <laughs> Truth. Uh, yeah, man. I. Uh, but, like, other, you know, stuff like, there's stuff that calls you. They're like, like businesses. Like, I mean, just stuff that calls you that they need to get a hold of you. 90% of the time, you don't want to talk to no business, man. Right, but that's was, why voicemail is important because they can leave a message like, "Hey, Mr. Jonas, I'm returning your call about X, Y, Z, or whatever." And then what? You know what number to block? Is then that I, what it then is? Then I call it back because I'm waiting for their call, and they call back. <laughs> Who is <laughs> calling you that you feel like you need to call back? What business? What? The, like if I call someone and ask a question and leave a message, and they call me back to answer my question. Then I'm gonna. I won't answer the number because I don't know who it is. Right. And then they leave a message. Why? Are you, I don't know why you're fighting this so hard. Because I hate voicemail. That's why. Jonas. Why, why would you need? I to, hate voicemail. Like, why would you need to call a business back? I could give you. I, I mean, why wouldn't you call a business back if you called them and they're Jonas. returning your call? All right. Look, I hate the telephone. This. I'm just gonna let it <laughs> all hang out. Do. I freaking hate the telephone. I know. And you know what I hate more? Voice. The cell phone. You know what I hate about the cell phone? Nothing but the calling feature. If they took a cell phone and they took the calling feature away from it, I would have no problem with it. I wonder if you could get that. It'd be cheaper because you don't have to use phones. You just want mobile web and texting. Thank you. That's all I want. I don't want anybody to have that much accessibility to me. I've said this before because I feel like I have. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. (laughs) I hate when people can just be like, hey, dude, I called you and you didn't answer. I have a right to not be available. Thank you. Do I not have a right to not answer the phone until I call me? <laughs> well, right. That's why voicemail is good. They can leave a message in case it's important. 
important. <laughs> but it never is. Right. You're right. It's hardly ever important. It never is important. That's why I don't mind not answering anybody who calls me because I know it's not important. This is why this is why I was asking if voicemail was dead. Because I was thinking dead. that we had come to the point in the future where if that you can automate calls, why can't you automate a text? And now this would be even more invasive, I mean, granted. Yeah. But at least I ain't got to talk to anybody. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, if I called, like, Joe's Video Shack to ask him a question, left a message, and they, and they texted me back and said, hey, I saw you called. What do you need? Or they had a number, like, text us your question. And they text you back when they have time. And some people do offer I that would service. love that. Like, yeah. I don't want to call. I don't. I, I call my mama. I call my grandma. And I talk to them because I, they want to talk to me. I want to talk to them. Like, they, they're, they're interested in what I'm doing. Jonas, man, this ain't a bad idea. Think if you could order pizza through text. You could just text pizza and be like, hey, yo, I want a number seven large. Yeah. And they're just texting you back like, all right, uh, you want a drink with that? Well, I mean, that's like, what nah. the apps are for. Because you can get everything like. All right, Jones, crush my dreams. That's why your funeral. <laughs> you, how about, how about that's this? why your funeral we'll, party we'll, won't work. Well, we'll we'll order tech. We'll order pizza. You text me what you want, and then I'll order it online on the app. All right, that works. <laughs> yeah, then you still get to order a pizza via text. That works. <laughs> See, Jonas, solving solving problems since. Too long ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Way but, too long ago. <laughs> that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please Aww. make sure to like and subscribe. If uh, you've already done that, send your friends, send your family, send your mama, hide your wife, because the crazy town people are coming. Ooh. ooh you real dumb. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> for Jonas. TNT Dynamite. We are out.